In this video, we will go over the basics of using the InterSystems terminal. InterSystems provides an interactive command line interface which you can use to run administrative tasks, execute routines and methods, and run object script code. To start the terminal on a Windows machine, click the InterSystems launcher for your product in the Windows system tray and select Terminal. When using the terminal on a Windows machine, do not use the cut, copy, or paste keyboard shortcuts as they will cause errors. Instead, Right-click and select the appropriate option from the drop-down menu. Mac and Linux machines don't have a launcher icon. To launch the InterSystems Iris command line interface, open the terminal for your machine and type Iris Session, and then the name of the instance you would like to connect to, typically Iris. Once you have started your terminal, you will see that the terminal prompt always refers to whatever namespace you are currently operating in. For example, here we are in the user namespace. If you wanted to change to another namespace, such as %sys, you could do this by typing set $namespace equal to, and then the namespace in quotations, in this case, %sys. Let's go over a few of the common tasks you will need to perform in the terminal. To run a class method from the terminal, type do pound pound class package name dot class name dot method name followed by your parameters. To run a routine, type do followed by the caret symbol and the routine name. Occasionally, you may wish to access a specific tag within a routine, sometimes referred to as a subroutine. In this case, add the tag before the caret and type do tag name caret routine name with any arguments passed into the parenthetical. Many routines and methods in InterSystems technology return a status code as opposed to throwing an exception. This means that a command could fail silently if you do not check the return status. Because of this, InterSystems recommends oftentimes setting a status variable to the return value of the method or routine you have called. For guidance on when to set the status variable, see the class reference. For example, if you wanted to call a class method, you would type set status equal to pound pound class package name dot class name dot method followed by parameters. Then, you can pass that status variable into a built-in method designed to return a 1 if the status is an error, or a 0 if it is not. Type write$system.status.isError. Write out an error message to the terminal, passing the status variable into $system.status.displayError. Looking for more ways to make working in the terminal even easier? Here are a few commands you can use. To clear the terminal screen, use write and the pound sign. To execute OS level commands while still within your terminal session, preface your command with an exclamation point. For example, if you wanted to see all files in the current working directory, you could use exclamation point followed by ls. Lastly, to exit the terminal and return to your system's command line, simply type halt. You have now learned the basics of using the InterSystems terminal. If you would like to learn more about the terminal, visit InterSystems documentation.